peace, healing through inspiration. How y'all doing? How y'all doing, man? It's a great day. You know what I'm saying? It's a great day. The sun shining, we shining. <laughs> Always, baby. Hey, but man. Uh, yeah, I almost got a video with me not wearing my coat, man. Because I was actually out for a little bit. Because um, it was, you know, the sun was out. The sun was out. And then I was like, you know, uh, and then I started walking around a little bit. And the overcast came and the, and the wind. And I'm like, yeah. You know what, man? It's freaking cold. It is windy, so part of me, if the the wind makes a big uh, difference, I try to put the, put the device close to myself and listen, maybe hear what I'm saying too. Because sometimes you might not comprehend. They comprehend something better. Just because other people who's on the same same frequency. You know? Oh, I love the sun. It's like keeps you warm. Feels so great. Uh, but um, it is a gift. It's a gift, in dini 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 indeed. <sighs> it's a gift, man. This coronavirus. This is a gift, you know. It's a world reset. The world is reset. Has the world ended? Has the world ended? Has it ended? Huh? <laughs> Has it ended? Like, how could somebody be so happy in a time of coronavirus, epidemic, recession? It's, I feel like it's a choice. Part of it is a, part of it is a choice. It's a choice on how you choose to, re to respond to this. It's a choice how you choose to respond to this. How do you choose to respond to this? How do you choose to respond to this? You said you hated your job. You said you hated your job, man. You don't, you're not at the job now, ain't you? No, you're not. You're not at the job now, baby. You're not at the job, huh? What's happening? I'm tired of walking, man. You're not, you're not dealing with those negative co-workers. You ain't. You ain't almost dying on the freeway speeding your life away to get to a job where you can get discriminated at against. Come on. Come on. Man, I used to be sprinting to my job. I used to be sprinting to my job sometimes. Shoot, a lot of times, really. I used to be sprinting to my job just to a place where I can get discriminated against. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. I was the only brown man there. And you know, just the, uh, just the, uh, you know, just the uh, audacity that they have to be to discriminate, to discriminate, discriminate. I'm like, who do these people think they are? And just you know, just cowards and bitches, cause you know they'll never, they'll never stay up, like never stand off and square off with you, like. Like, come on, let's do it. And just a bunch of a passive, aggressive, evil, toxic, bitch-ass people. And just a lot of raw mindsets, a lot of negative people. You know, they got the wrong mindset. When I told people, when we were in a place like, we in a place like Flint, Michigan, to, uh, you know, people that come here, people that been here, they be like, they think of uh, brothers who've been in the streets of Vegas, the streets in Vegas and the streets in uh, California. It's like, oh, man, I, you know, I'm from the streets. That's all. It's ain't nothing. But when they came to Flint, it was like, dang. It was something else. This, you know, a lot of it could be like a third world country. And a lot of people, and the people that have came here and they have met me, I'm, I'm going to just say out their words themselves. They, they said they had... They don't meet a lot of people like me. A lot of people who don't smile. A lot of people not happy. Who don't 
resonate who don't resonate at the right frequency who don't resonate at the right frequency man you know they got attitudes just rude just don't even smile because everybody can smile everybody can smile because y'all if y'all know me i know the stuff that i've been through i've gone through stuff but i still make it a choice to smile i got a motto in my life that i've had a motto in my life for years that never go a day in life without laughing why not stand by that you know he was just looking for negative things to complain and whatnot and as i was saying i remember my my job here in Flint, Michigan, when I was at work, and when I was at work, people, my coworkers, when they found out that I went from Flint, Michigan to, to the other side of the country, the United States, to Las Vegas for the 10X Growth Conference for business, and when I, when I came, when they found that I came back, and they found. And they asked if I had played any slot machines. And I said, no. They said, what? They they couldn't comprehend that. I didn't go there to play games. I didn't go there to be a loser. I didn't go there to gamble. I didn't go there to smoke. I didn't go there to drink. I didn't go there to berate and just lounge around unnecessarily. I didn't go there. I go there. I went to the head of business. It was business and I did enjoy it. And that's part of my business, enjoying myself, not being sedated. Being not clear-minded. Cuz when I told him, I said, "No, I didn't play." They said, "What? You didn't play? I would have just played, you know, just for experience, you know something." What the hell I need experience of being a loser? Uh, 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 just being a loser like that, wasting wasting some money on that. If I'm trying to if I'm trying to go to a event in order to expand my mind in order to get some more money, what sense do that make? Hmm? Huh? What sense do that make? What sense do that make? And that was I think that was one of the oldest people at the job too. And it was a job of typically younger people. She couldn't comprehend that. She's like, "Well, I, well, I still went for the experience, you know, just to just to learn. Something, just had the experience and say, what do I need experience for? What did what 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 experience for? Just to say, he already to be like all oh, the idiots and other losers, like just like them, because they got the experience of being losers. They got the experience of being broke, but her broke mind could not comprehend." What was that? What was done in place? The investment to my mind that I went over there to the other side of the country, which may be known where they profit off of a lot of losers. A lot of losers. I make money off them. I'm not just saying people who gamble, because some people they know what they're doing. I met somebody who said he make like at least 90,000, you know, close to, you know, six figures, whatever. He don't got to work a job because he knows how to play poker and whatnot. But. Because when I say a lot of losers, because if you listen to Greg Cardone, Greg Cardone, and he talks about the millionaire booklet, he said in the uh, casino, why don't these, why don't he said it's one of these guys at the casino workers? He said, why don't this place ever break? Why don't this place ever break? Uh, it ever break down? Why does it ever shut down, man? Why does somebody just, just bet it all? You know, they could just bet it all. They could just shut this whole place down and everybody just bet it all. They could bet it, just bet enough. They could shut this whole place down, but people go over there. But people go over there and be like, "Okay, I'm only gonna bet twenty. If I'm if I lose twenty, I'm gone. If I lose a hundred dollars, I'm gone." They got a broke mindset, a scarcity mindset, a fearful mindset. Always in retreat. Always in, always in retreat. And that Greg Cardone talks about you're never gonna get rich 
with your money if you're always in defense. You got to take the offensive approach. You got to take the offensive approach. And I think we got to just take the offensive approach in, in, a, lot, in a lot of places in life. Because I didn't grow up rich. Financially rich. But, you know, one thing about a rich, rich mindset is that, you know, we always, they always make the extra foot, extra foot forward as far as to setting up assets, setting up assets, you know, multiple streams of income. That's what I've noticed with it. That's what I noticed when I studied the rich, you know. But with broke, it's the complete opposite. It's just complete. Uh, as long as you got a job, you're fine. As long as you got a job, you're fine. But no, my biological mother, uh, well, as a child, she told me that, you know, you can do good in school, get a good job, and you can, you can work for Microsoft. And my auntie was there, and her, and her mother was there, and my grandmother said, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But they never told me I could own my own Microsoft. That's the difference. That's the difference. Owning. Creation. Creation. Starting to own some past Sunday and day. You just go on the job, you build on somebody else's, you build on somebody else's legacy. You build on somebody else's dream. And I'm just starting now. I've worked the job. If y'all been following me on this channel, y'all know I've expressed that. I've worked the job, man. <sighs> gotta change our thinking. We gotta change our thoughts, man. It's just, it's just almost, it's almost asinine how that, how that co-worker, you know, she just couldn't comprehend that you, you're, she was really baffled by it, man, that I was going somewhere like Las Vegas and not, and not playing the casino. Not playing in the game, not gambling, not not uh, not playing the slot machines or gambling. Like, and when Greg Cardone was saying, when he asked the, uh, the the guy who works in the casino there, he said people bet small. He would bet small. They say just enough, just enough. So if they lose a little bit, they'll be gone. But a lot people lose a lot if they've been doing the same thing over and over again. If they've been doing the same thing over and over again, they've been losing a lot. That that's a loss already. You might as well do something different. What the frick? You if it don't work out, you go back to doing the same thing you always did, huh? Might as well do something different with your life, man. Why does it make a change? Two problems that people's talking about in their life is they ain't got money and they ain't got time. Time don't exist. You know that. Who are you to say the seven days in a week? Who do you say what a week is? Who do you say the 24 hours in a day? Who you say that the clock goes back one hour? And then the clock, who you say the clock goes back for one hour? Who are you to say that? But if you say... The two things you ain't got, you ain't got enough money, you ain't got enough time. Hey, your business is closed. You, you at you at you at your place. What you doing now? You got time. What now? What now? What you gonna do with it? What are you gonna do to change it, man? What books have you invested? What books have you bought? How what investment have you made in yourself, man? Hmm? What investment have you made on yourself, man? What courses have you bought? What mentors have you bought? 
What coaches have you bought, man? We live on an economic planet. And if you pay for what you want, you pay for the Netflix. Love the Netflix. You pay for the snacks. So you can just sit your, your behind and eat those processed foods. You're not eating the right food. You're not feeding the mind the right things. You're not feeding the mind the right things. Where the mind goes, the body follows. So where do you expect to be? This is your time. This is like I keep telling y'all. This is a gift. This is like your time to be in a lab. This is your time to be in a lab, man. I'm going to be like, whew. I'm going to be in a lab. Like, I get the time. I get to read the books. I get to study. I get to do all of this, man. Like, this is a gift. Because I know a lot of people loving this uh, quarantine. A lot of people loving this quarantine. They get to sit there behind up there, get, a, get some uh, popcorn, hybrid, hybrid food, butter. Animal products, the dead, you know. Mold. And, and uh, popcorn, and eat it hot. Eat that hot. Right in front of the Netflix as they been watch. All right, man. All right, man. All right, man. What you gonna do different? Your parents ain't get, your parents ain't pass down money to you? What you gonna do different so you can pass down money to your children? How are you going to break the cycle? How are you gonna put yourself in position to win, man? Cause this right here is a gift. We gotta study. This is, this is right. This is how he is gonna. This is here is gonna show a lot. It's gonna show a lot about people. It's gonna show you a lot about people. Cause you know there's no jobs, and the job and it, when this when this I guess when this ends, it won't be the same. It won't be the same. A lot of stores, a lot of businesses, they won't open back up. They will not open back up. So if there's not gonna be jobs, they're not gonna be hiring. We need to come out of this with a skill. We need to come out of this stuff with a skill, man. Because that right there is going to be the turning point. That right there is going to be the turning point. Because a lot of people right now, they are scared out of their mind. Wearing masks. The gloves. Hand sanitizer. Perel. Bleach, doing all those types of cleaners and disinfectants, but they don't know the number one disinfectant for that is in the mind. And what you fuel the mind is with the food. They don't eat the right foods. You know, at the grocery store is one of the last things to go with the produce. Do you know that? I was there. I said, "Oh wow, a lot of this stuff is gone." And but they leaving the produce. Ha. Huh. I ain't got no coronavirus. I'm coronavirus proof. I'm coronavirus proof. I'm coronavirus free. I will never get the coronavirus. I'm bold enough to say that. Because I know that. Because I know that, fool. I know that. I ain't scared of no coronavirus. Y'all see me, bro. I ain't got no mask, man. I ain't got no mask. I'm on the bun. What they said I can't be out? I'm out, yo. I'm out, yo. I'm out, yo. I ain't scared of no virus, man. I ain't scared of no virus, man. I know because I, I know how to heal myself. I know all disease starts in the mind. I know all disease starts in the mind, yo. I do. What do you put in your mind? I know what I put in mind. You got to mind your mind. This is warfare. This is warfare. You watch the news, you're going to be a pandemonium. You're going to be scared. You gonna be scared. You gonna be terrified. You like, I don't know what to do next. If you click on that, if you one of those people, you click on this video. This is a gift. This is a gift that you watching this, man. This is a gift that you watching this, man. Cause what's gonna happen? You been scared. You been scared. What you gonna do to tighten up? What you gonna be? What you gonna do to tighten up, man? What you gonna do to tighten up, yo? Huh? 
What you gonna do to get your mind right? What? You just gonna ball in the fetal position? Or you gonna do something to change your life? Huh? How you gonna use this quote unquote time in order to benefit you? What? How? People in your family scared it. Your so called family? Because family is a household of slaves or indentured servants. That's that knowledge of it. And if you're not a slave or indentured servant, then what the frick you gotta do with a family, man? Now, if you don't know that, you don't know. You gotta get your mind right, man. You gotta explore. This is, you can learn that just by studying. This is your time to study. This is your time to reinvest in yourself. This is your time to reinvest. This is your time to read books. This is your time to excel. How are you gonna use it? How do you wanna do it? If you wanna excel, you wanna change your life, you wanna make yourself for the better, you wanna change your mind, you wanna corona proof yourself. We got the corona proof virus system course. You can sign up for it. The course is most definitely in the works. We'll be updating it. But you make sure you sign up for it so you can be on it. Cause this is something serious. We out here change your lives. People's lives at stake. They even don't want to deal with it. A lot of people want to deal with the fear of it, but don't nobody want to know how to heal it. Don't know what they deal about reversing it. Don't nobody want to deal with corona proof, proofing yourself, coronavirus proofing yourself. Well, you looking at it. Who you looking at it? You looking at somebody who, who does, who cares about the American people. American pride too, by the way. Hold on. You see my feathers. See my feathers. You see how we come in American pride. Your dick. Hopefully y'all can see that. Yeah. And if you want to hear, you always can book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with us. And also, if you want to excel, you know, in a business, and you just really want information, I would recommend to you the 30-day challenge. The OFA 30-day 30, 30 challenge is the life-changing course. The best course I've ever spent, the best course I've ever gotten. I, it's almost crazy to me, I already spent 100 bucks on it. And just the information I got was the course. 10,000 at least, 15,000, 30,000 dollars worth of information. Better than school, better than medical school, better than business courses. It's, it's, it was honestly great. And we got, we got, we got that in the link in the description. And I recommend it because I took the course myself. I wouldn't be telling y'all that, you know, if I hadn't took it. So this is amazing. Um, but make sure you guys like, comment, share. And subscribe, because we see we've been uploading. We've been uploading multiple videos in a day, too, as well, on days. And we've been uploading every single day. So if y'all like that, make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure y'all comment. Make sure you share. And if you made it this far in the video, comment hashtag Originies Forward. Hashtag Originies Forward. Peace, love, and light, y'all.